I'm going to give you a brief introduction about how to reconstruct a phylogeny using genetic characters. Five steps are involved in this procedure. Retrieve the gene sequences from GenBank. Align the sequences. Construct the tree based on the sequences. Determine the consensus tree and rule the tree. First, let's retrieve a gene sequence from GenBank. You can use this link to access to GenBank. When you get to the GenBank database, notice there are a variety of things on the database. You need to choose a nucleotide to narrow down your searching. Then, you need to tell the database which species and gene you are searching for. In this phrase we just pasted in, you can see the first two words stands for the species name and the last two words stands for the gene's name. Now you have your result. On this page, you can find out all kinds of information that is relevant to the species and the genes. For your activity, go to click the FASTA link. When you have the actual gene sequence, copy the title line and the sequence. Create a Word file. Paste the sequence information into the file. Then, you want to do some formatting. Remove most of the information from the first line. Truncate the genus name. At the end, you should only have the species name and the character symbol in the first line. Make sure the gene sequence starts from the second line. Retrieve the other gene sequences in the same way and paste them into the same file. Now you're going to use a tool called Muscle to align the sequences retrieved from GenPank. Muscle stands for Multiple Sequence Comparison by Log Expectation. Click the link to go to the Muscle page. Then you can copy and paste all the DNA sequences retrieved from GenBank to Muscle. Once pasting in the Muscle, you want to adjust the window on the web page to see if there is any misalignment existing in your dataset. You do not want any extra space in your dataset. Choose Clustal as the output format. Then align the sequences. You should be able to see your result in a few seconds. Once you get the result, copy and paste all this alignment into a new Word file and use it for your homework. Now you're going to construct the phylogenetic tree. You're going to use a tool called Phylob. You will need to format your gene sequences into Phylob format. You will use the Muscle tool to help you do the formatting. Go to the Muscle web page. You can see this is the page we just worked it on. Now, choose Phylob as the output format. Then align the sequences. Your sequences should be formatted into Phylob format. Now you can use this formatted data to generate your phylogenetic tree. Copy the data. Then go back to the Phylob web page. You can either follow the instruction shown here or just use the link provided on your handout to go to the web page.
Once you paste the data into the window, make sure the data is correctly aligned. Then follow the handout to set up the parameter and compute the phylogenetic tree. You can see two trees are generated based on this data set, which means we need to determine the consensus tree for these two trees. Now we're going to use a third program called Consensa to calculate the consensus tree. Now click the link, go to the online Consensa program. Now, we need to go back to the file-up page to find out some tree information for a Consensa program. Now, you probably have noticed that we are using these several tools all together. Once you get the information, copy all the information. And later, we're going to paste this information into Consensa program. Paste the information into the Consensa program and run the program. You should be able to get the results in a few seconds. If you are asked to put down your email information, just make up one. Now I have my consensus tree. I can click the full screen to view my consensus tree in a better way. Now you can see here is my consensus tree. Note, this tree is a unrooted tree, so we need to root that. To root the tree, we need to use the last program called FigTree. If you work at home, you need to download this program onto your computer. Here's the link for you. Once you get to that page, identify the correct FigTree version for your computer, either PC or Mac and then download the program. When you run FigTree on your computer, you should see this interface. We need to go back to Consensa to find out the consensus tree information. Again, we use tools all together. See, we copy the consensus out tree file and then paste it into FigTree interface. You can simply use Command V or Control V to paste the information into a fig tree. Then you should see a tree appears in the window. Notice in this tree, the out group, pelican food, is embedded within the tree. That's why we need to reroute this tree. We want pelican food as an out group, which should branch away from other seashell species earlier. So, Click the lineage and then click reroute. Now you see the all group branch away from other species earlier. Congratulations! At this point, you have a final tree. The very last thing you need to do is to export the tree into a PDF file. You might need to save the file first and then export the tree to PDF. Remember, put the .pdf as an extension for your PDF file. Thanks for watching.